how to grow in your gift or any spiritual gift. It could be the gift received by impartation, like the case of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6, where Paul the Apostle speaks and says, Stay up the gift that have been imparted into you by the laying on of hands, or by birth, like in Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, from thy mother's womb by new thee and ordained thee a prophet, or from a distance, like in the case of Elisha, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the mantle of Elijah fell to him. That is distance impartation. Whichever means you fall under, how do you grow this gift or the giftings that you have received? Number one, walk in the spirit. It is written, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. What it simply means is engage spiritual activity regularly. Number two, feed your gift. The gift of God in a man feeds on the word and prayer. Number three, which is the most important one, practice. Any gift that is left dormant will look as if you don't have it at all. The beginning of having a gift will look as if you don't have the gift because at that point, you don't know how to use it. Stepping out in faith to utilize it will begin to bring out the potential of the gift in you. And the more you use a gift, the more it will come alive in you. Many of the people you wish to operate the gift, like, like the gift of prophecy today, go and check their life. Almost every day they are ministering the word of God. They are using the gift. Physically, we grow by years, but spiritually, we grow by spiritual engagement. The more we engage spiritually, the more we grow. Number four, association. Iron sharpened iron. As a man sharpened the countenance of his friend. The moment Saul came among the company of prophets, he began to prophesy. Always be around the company of those who have the kind of gift that is in you. And you will begin to grow faster than you can ever imagine. Follow this page for more.